attention. Of course, if we needed to, we can hold at waypoint two for quite a while uh, just to make sure we have conditions on the spacecraft, on the International Space Station, any lighting conditions, uh, just the way we want them before we move on in. And just to recap some of our milestones, we had an approach, approach initiation burn at 4.29 a.m. Pacific time, that's 7.29 p.m. Uh, a.m. Eastern time, uh, as well as we did require an approach initiation mid-course maneuver, uh, which happened at 4.56 a.m. Pacific time, 7.56 a.m. Eastern time. And again, we've passed through waypoint zero. We're on our way to waypoint one. And as Leah mentioned, after waypoint one is waypoint two, just 20 meters from the International Space Station. There will be, a, that will be a checkpoint where they, will, where they will make sure that everything is good before docking. And again, docking is autonomous. Dragon is an autonomous vehicle. so. The astronauts still are just monitoring all the way until the vehicle basically latches on to the International Space Station. We'll start hearing more and more chatter too as we get closer between all the crew members. Um, and one of the, the call outs that we'll hear just as the crew is about to make contact with the International Space Station is CHOP or that stands for Crew Hands Off Point. That's about two meters from the space station uh, at that point, the crew should not be sending any commands to Dragon. However, again, we really don't anticipate that they would be um, because it is an autonomous docking. So about 10 minutes away till we reach waypoint one. Again, we're gonna move right on through, head to that waypoint two hold point, And then we are about 20 minutes away from docking itself.